Enveloped in a smog so thick it almost blots out the daylight. Famous Delhi landmarks like India Gate are only a vague outline. But this level of pollution has serious implications for health. I feel terrible, it's pathetic. I feel like moving out as well because I'm pretty young and I'm still like on a stage of building up my life and my career. Because of this pollution level, like it leads to many symptoms. Like I have a headache every day I wake up and then uh, like it's suffocating to breathe also sometimes. Cars have been restricted. This will mean an estimated 1.2 million private vehicles are off the road today, but the impact's minimal. Those who measure the damage caused by air pollution describe it as a silent killer. This air pollution and whatever the impact of air pollution, it's not visible. And that's what people don't consider it's a, as, as a risk factor uh, because, it, uh, because it's a kind of slow poison. And we need to realize it because in India, 1.2 million people dying prematurely just because of air pollution. In a city with a population close to 30 million, the authorities are facing an environmental crisis. East Delhi's home to the biggest landfill site in Asia. Ghazipur dominates the skyline. Built up over the last three decades, it's now almost as tall as the Taj Mahal. The Supreme Court ordered that tipping should stop 11 years ago, but 3,000 tonnes is still added every day, and the council admits it's out of control. Surely somebody must be to blame for this. See, you cannot blame a single man. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a system failure. There was no vision that, uh, you know, once uh, we are dumping things, how we should control that. Recycling is still in its infancy. Virtually all waste, including animal entrails from a nearby abattoir, go back to the tip. It mixes together to produce a thick black liquid called leachate that seeps out into the local water supplies. Toxic fumes from Ghazipur only exacerbate Delhi's air pollution. India's highest court today accused the state government of having no long-term plans to clean up the capital. Juliet Bremner, News at 10.